So let's take a break from all this Scream 6 Neff Campbell drama and jump into another franchise, the Predator franchise, which surprisingly, this movie, Prey, is headed straight to a Hulu release the same weekend as Brad Pitt's Bullet Train comes out. Now, maybe they did it on purpose to not compete with Bullet Train. I'm honestly not a big fan of, of Brad Pitt, so it's not a movie that I would want to go watch anyways. But I think Prey is a really good release for Hulu. I mean, it saves you from going to the theater. You can just watch it at home. It's probably going to be a quick, easy watch and fun watch. I think that's a great reason to go to a streaming service. Now, judging from this poster, this will be a uh, girl power type movie, which is a fresh take for this franchise since it's never been done. There have been, though, female leads before, but not really the main lead. And I do have a lot of trust on the man behind the camera as he did 10 Cloverfield Lane. And that was a gem of a good movie. Check it out if you haven't. Also, most Predator movies that came after the Arnold original were kind of campy and fun and not hardcore horror action like the original. And that made me dislike the franchise a little bit. i rather see more serious material. And I'm guessing with this director behind the camera, it's going to go down that route as he did a movie which is a masterclass in suspense and tension. So let's go ahead and check this trailer out. Let's see. All right, let's go. Why do you want to hunt? Because you all think that I can't. She looks cool. I saw a sign in the sky. I'm assuming that's the spaceship. happening oh, oh. <laughs> there's something out there I'm coming with you you can't I'm trying to protect you protect me from what <laughs> it's time game to him. Ooh. Run. Oh. It knows how to hunt. I know how to survive. Wow, um, that actually looked a whole lot better than I expected. But it kind of it kind of looks exactly how I expected from this director. Again, he, I, I'm telling you, he's gonna give you a really well done movie. He knows his craft. He knows how to create tension. That bear sequence was fantastic, and it's just on the trailer. But wow, that looked really good three theatrical release good i'm surprised this movie's not going to theaters i wonder how that decision came to happen maybe it's terrible and they just gave us a really good trailer but i'm surprised that was very good so really the questions here in my opinion are will this deliver what the fans of this long-running franchise want or will it give a different take to revive it what do you guys think i'm so curious um, I mean, from the looks of the trailer, again, this looks like one of those movies that the tension was just built 
little by little until the ending. And it does remind me a little bit of the Arnold in the sense that it seems like it's going to be just her against him. Some other people will be involved, but they're all going to die. And it's in the middle of nowhere, just like in the jungle in the original. I like the idea of the settlers or the, the colonists. Uh, clearly, they're going to get most of his brutal uh, uh, meanness and, and kills will be with them. But, wow, surprising. All right, guys, well, that's my reaction. As always, I'm Frank Javier, signing off.